And joining us today in our Book Talk segment, great to welcome a man who's written really a fascinating book, deals with uh, human behavior, basically, but using internet uh, data. It's called Data Clism, who we are when we think no one's looking. We're joined today by Christian Rudder, and he joined us on the telephone. Christian, good to talk to you. How are you today? I'm doing pretty well, Doug. How are you? I'm doing fine. I had a chance to, to read through the book. First of all, i got to introduce you properly. You, you're also the founder or one of the co-founders of uh, OKCupid, one of the uh, premier dating sites. And I guess that kind of led to, to this book, right? The data you were getting for that site? Or am I wrong? No, no, you're, you're totally right. You know, me and the three friends started the dating site, uh, started OKCupid uh, about 10 years ago. And just in the course of running that business, we were looking at that all the time of like, you know, who likes who? Who wants to sleep with who? Who hates who? Um, you know what makes what makes this person different from that person? You know because we're just trying to find matches for them all. You know and and uh, and in the course of that, we, we realized we were learning a lot about just human behavior. Um, you know at least in, in that in that specific realm. And it occurred to me that you know people at Facebook and Twitter and Google they're probably learning a lot too and, and different things because you know okay, Cupid knows nothing about married life, for example. You know because we're a dating site. So I wrote the book to sort of tie all of that sort of human interest data together. Um, because we saw that the story around data was so often, you know, dollars and cents because data is, is important for marketing or it was a kind of creepy NSA uh, story. And I, I just wanted to tell that the, the human interest side, you know, race, sex, politics, because that's the stuff that, you know, every person can relate to. I think, I, I, for. I think it's kind of interesting. Uh, before the Internet, obviously, they, they, they try to get data through uh, interviews or, or surveys, that kind of thing, but it was a, a much slower process. Now you're getting millions of people logging on, hopefully millions of people for your site at one time or close to one time. So you, you get a bunch of data, really tons of it at one time, that uh, and great uh, demographic data. So I, I guess that gives you a lot to work with. Yeah, it really does. And, and even more to that, like surveys, you know, you have somebody sitting there with a clipboard and they're asking you, uh, you know, are you a racist or do you use drugs? So these kinds of very loaded questions and, and nobody's going to sit there and be honest or fewer people are going to be honest when they have to say these things <laughs> that might be unpleasant sure. to, to, a, to a random person. And, and here with the, with the Internet, um, not only do we... We don't have a we don't have a person with a clipboard sitting there, but sometimes we don't even have to ask a question. You know, if you look at Google search, it's it's not asking you anything. You just kind of type what, what you want to find or what's on your mind, um, and you you just get a much more direct conduit to the to people's psyche. Anything that uh, that kind of jumped out at you that you didn't expect from from this research? I guess the racist thing would be one. How uh, racist we are? You ask that question in the book. Uh, would that be the most surprising? Um. Well, I mean, I think an American who's surprised that racism is a problem is probably not been paying attention. But, mm -hmm. but, uh, but um, you know, I think honestly, the most surprising thing for me was was uh, that these guys in the UK that look just at Facebook likes. So they didn't look at your friend network. They didn't look at who your spouse was. They didn't look at your pictures. None of that stuff. Just the likes. Um, and from that alone, they could guess with 95% certainty, you know, what your race was, 88% certainty, um, what your sexuality was, you know, gay or straight. Um, they were 85% certain of whether you were a Democrat or a Republican, um, all the way down to a 60% certain they could tell uh, if your parents got divorced before you were 21. So they could dig, I mean, even they could even dig into your past through just your likes. And, and Facebook's been around, it's been popular for, what, seven, eight years, something like that. Right. And, you know, I have a, a two-year-old daughter, and Facebook is going to be a thing for her whole life, you know. So um, it's both interesting, half interesting, half frightening to, to see what, what those numbers will be like, you know, when she's my age. It, it really is when you say just from the likes that you can find all that out. Imagine if you had more time to actually talk to people directly, but... That, oh, is, for that sure. is frightening. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's intense. I mean, and, and you know, I guess the question is like, all right, well, what is this good for? And I, I think that's where you get into the kind of the race data or, or some of the stuff on on sexuality. Um, you know, to the extent that racism is a social ill anywhere, but in the United States especially, like, you know, to 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 know to to know the state of it, to have real information, real data on it, helps you know solve the problem if, if it can be solved. The word data clism? Did, did you coin that? It's, uh, I've never heard that word before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I just, just kind of, you know, change the C to a D and hope for the best, basically. It's based, it's based on cataclysm. Um, the, uh, that, that's obviously, everyone knows what cataclysm means, but it's based on the, the, the Greek word cataclysmos, which is their word for the Old Testament flood. And, and I, uh, I chose it because of two reasons. You know, one, the data is a flood. I mean, there's just so much being collected. Um, and, and second, just the kind of... Uh, cathartic power of the, the, the Old Testament flood, you know, it made the world anew, you know, and, uh, and I uh, I hope that 
the data that is coming through now, you know, if it's handled responsibly and intelligently, can transform, you know, our understanding of ourselves or our social science in a similar way. I was going to ask about that uh, social sciences. That uh, was uh, it's, it's been around a long time, but now it's totally. Uh, change with all this, like you said, the internet and all the information you get. Uh, now, from, from a business perspective, you, you hope your website does well and all the, you know, the good ones do, but uh, it seems like, particularly young people, that's all they do are, are online. Is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, as a, as a relatively new parent, I, I have very, <laughs> I, I, I have mixed feelings, you know. Right. I, I will be very sad. I played outside all day, every day when I was a kid, you know, and I will be very sad if she spends most of her afternoons on a tablet or a phone, you know. Um, and, and at the same time, I run a web company, you know, and so, like, I, I, I tried to bring, because the topic, there is no clear answer on a lot of this stuff, and I tried to bring this kind of, I got a foot in, in a lot of different camps, you know, and I, I tried to bring that sort of even-handedness to the topic, like, I'm not here to cheer, uh, yay, hooray for the Internet, you know, I wanted to look look at it more soberly, um, but I do think that there's a lot you can learn about people, and I think um, knowledge is, is, is an amazing and wonderful thing. Mm. Just on your the OK Cupid site, uh, how, how's that working out? Are, are more people using the internet now to, to find uh, husbands and wives or whatever, or how's that working? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm 39, so a lot of my peers have never tried online dating. But mm -hmm. for people younger than me, it's just a fact of life in the same way that, that Facebook and Twitter are. I mean, we we sign up. Um, and I think with maybe 12 million people a year. I mean, there's only probably 50 million people total in the, in the United States who are single and kind of dating. So uh, we have a huge segment of, of the online, I mean, of, the, uh, of just the, the American dating market, I mean, period. Mm -hmm. The name of the yeah. book is called Data Clism. We've been talking with uh, Christian Rudder today. And uh, Christian, you have a, a specific website you want to give out or would people get a hold of you in the book? Yeah, I mean, the book should be available anywhere books are sold, you know, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, your local bookstore, um, uh, so definitely please buy it there, and uh, you can find more about the book and more about me at dataclism.org. Great. Christian, pleasure to talk to you, and good uh, luck with the book, and hopefully we can talk to you again sometime. Thanks for joining us today. Sounds